because it's just not fair to other citizens in the province. Finally, when you won this job, and it was exactly a year ago today, by the way, one year, October 23rd last year, you promised to work on your French. How close to bilingual are you now? Well, Steve, I guess I, I don't consider myself bilingual. I am working on my French. It's not easy. Uh, at this time in, in my life, it's, it's, it's not easy. And I have sympathy for people that are trying every day to, to do it. I also have great respect for the culture and great respect for people that, that are, I guess, tolerant with me as I, as I practice. It, it is a challenge, and it's a, it's a challenge that every day I can find myself in situations where, you know, I'm working with people no matter where in the province, and, and we're speaking English. Um, so I, it's it's a work in progress. But you will continue to, to work on your French with, with the aim of ultimately being I better. will continue to Well, I will continue to work on it. And yes, my goal is to, is to, is to be able to have a conversation in, in French. And I can do that to a limited degree now, but it would probably be a, a painful exercise. And, and uh, some would say, let's just, let's just talk English and avoid this. But I'm hoping yes, and I will continue, yes. But it is an officially bilingual product. So, I mean, you know, the premier, the premier would need functionality in both languages. Well, I guess, Steve, to, to that point, yeah, I think that is important, and I will work towards that and have people with me that always can help me in that regard. But, but I guess when I look at our education system in New Brunswick, and I see that after, after 50 years, we graduate only about 10 to 15 percent of our students in an Anglophone system that are bilingual. I mean, that is pretty sad results. Uh, from a, from a, a, an institution that's been in, in place for 50 years in a bilingual province. So what do you, you do about that? Up I mean, the game in our education system. What, what do you do about that? Do you step up the system to make them bilingual, or give up on, on the on the notion or the dream of bilingual? We we allow the teachers in the classroom to take control of the classrooms, and we allow the teachers to develop the curriculum to achieve the results that we're seeking. We have messed in classrooms as politicians for generations, and that's where I place the blame squarely on the political abuse in classrooms. So let's let teachers take control. Let's decide what, what we can learn and what we, where we can place in, in our country is we're not eighth, but first. And let's, let's look at uh, a learning bilingual. So it's a, it's a good basis, conversational friends that we can even have, we can have fun being a bilingual province. All right. Much more to discuss there, Mr. Higgs. We appreciate your time tonight. The leader of the opposition, Lane Higgs, joining us tonight from St. John. Appreciate Very welcome, Steve. Thank you. We'll take a break. Back with more here in just a moment. Thank <laughs> you.